Monstrous diggers like this could scrape, shovel, and haul off huge amounts of earth while strip mining. Sometimes damage to the land could be avoided or fixed. Other times, the effect was devastating. Yet in spite of their environmental impact, they were superstars. It was probably one of the first super machines ever built. If there was a Hall of Fame for stripping shovels, it's a candidate to be in the Hall of Fame. Its influence has even reached the moon. The eight crawlers mounted on four corners was the basic inspiration of the crawler transporters currently in use at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Literally, stripping shovel technology was used to build these transporters for man's uh, quest of space. The Silver Spade's awesome power was based on the design of the human leg. It was first of two only built by Bucyrus uh, that had a thing called a knee action crowd, which is the, the, the mechanism which, which, which actually holds the bucket that it digs by. The part of the machine that actually held the bucket, the dipper handle, acted like a human knee swinging backward and forward. Keeping the knee and all its parts moving was a challenge. The silver spade had an oiler continuously lubricating the machine. Without it, the 700,000 separate parts would stop working. The crawler tracks alone required over 6,000 gallons of oil to move smoothly. And because of its age, this veteran of the coal face needed regular checkups. That meant inspecting the 200-foot high boom daily. When you ascend on our boom, uh, you make absolutely